Good morning, everyone. The Sir Saul's exile in the Philippines started when he decided to go back to the Philippines after his trip to Europe. June 26, 1892, when Rizal arrived in Manila, ay talaga namang umani ng napakaraming ingay dahil nga sa kanyang kasikatan. And his arrival became very sensational to not only to the Filipinos but also to the Spaniards. Bakit nga ba siya naging popular? Kasi si Jose Rizal ay isa sa mga Pilipino na kapag aral sa ibang bansa, matalino, sumali ng iba't ibang mga organisasyon at nakatapos or nakapagsulat ng isang nobela na ang nilalaman ay talaga namang umabot sa Pilipinas at lalong lalo na sa mga Kastila at mga Fraile. So ayun, kumbaga ang pagdating ni Jose Rizal sa Pilipinas, ang kanyang pag-uwi sa kanyang... Uh, Bayang sinilangan ay naging hudyat, uh, I mean badyat sa mga, sa mga Kastila na kung saan ay talaga namang pinagtuunan ng pansin ng mga Kastila ang bawat kilos ni Jose Rizal na para bang nahanapan siya ng butas para dakipin siya. So ang lahat ng ito ay naging bunga ng isang nobelang nagawa or nasulat ni Jose Rizal sa tulong ni Maximo Viola kung saan ay isinisimbolo nito ang mga karahasan at kalupitang ipinaranas ng mga Kastila sa mga Pilipino. Kumbaga, ang pagkakasulat ni Jose Rizal ng nobelang ito ay indirect at walang ipinapatungkulan. So, walang ibig sabihin, walang sapat na kadahilanan para dakipin si Jose Rizal ukol doon sa kanyang nagawang nobela na pinamagat ang Noli Metanghere. So, sa tulong naman ni Basa, isang taga Hong Kong, ay naipasok or naismagel ang ang nobelang iyon dito sa Pilipinas nang hindi nalalaman ng mga Kastila. On the night of July 3, 1892, after his arrival from Hong Kong, Jose Rizal founded La Liga Filipina which was held in the house of Dorotheo Ong Hongko in Tondo, Manila. The goal of the organization was for the promotion of the reform of the Philippines and not for the revolution. So, the aims of La Liga Filipina as written by Rizal in the, on its constitution were to unite the whole archipelago into one compact and homogeneous body. The mutual protection in everyone's and necessity, defense against all violence and injustice, encouragement of instruction, agriculture, and commerce, and the study of application of the reforms. At paglipas ng apat na araw ay nalaman nga ng mga Kastila ang tungkol sa organisasyong ito. Kaya naman, doon na, na, doon na nadakip si Jose Rizal. So, it was then Jose Rizal lived in exile in a faraway Dapitan, a remote town in Mindanao, which was under jurisdiction of Jesuits from 1892 to 1896. So, um, according to Zaidi in 2008, there are four reasons why Rizal was exiled in Dapitan. The first reason was Rizal published books and articles abroad which showed disloyalty disloyalty to Spain and which was frankly anti-Catholic and imprudently anti-friar. Actually, hindi naman talaga anti-Catholic si Jose Rizal. Kung baga, um, nilayo niya lang yung kanyang sarili kasi nga, di ba, noong time ng mga Kastila ay uh, gusto nilang ihiwalay ang culture ng mga Pilipino sa religion. Something like that. So, according to Zairi in 2008, there are four reasons why Jose Rizal was exiled in the Pitan. So, the first of the four reasons was Rizal had published books and articles abroad which showed disloyalty to Spain and which were frankly anti-Catholic and imprudently anti-friar. The second one was few hours after his arri arrival in Manila, there was found in one of the packages a bundle of handbills entitled, entitled 
pobres frailes, in which the patient and humble generosity of Filipinos is satirized and which accusations is published against the customs of religious orders. So, um, pobres frailes or poor friars was under author authorship of Father Asinto and bore the imprint of Imprenta de los Amigos Manila. This article was a satire against the rich Dominicans who amassed um, fabulous wealth contrary to their vow of poverty. So, um, Pobres Frailes is the fictional story that is about Dominican friars which corrupts poor na at ang mga asawa ng mga balo uh, na mga Pilipino. Yung mga parang Dominicans daw ay um, nag-encourage ng mga namatay ng asawa or yung mga asawa ng mga balo na mag-invest sa bangko kung saan um, sa kalaunan ay naging nag-lead na rin sa corruption. So, the third reason was his novel, specifically El Filibusterismo, was dedicated to the memory of the three traitors, which is the Gumborza, the Gomez Burgos, and Zamora. And on the title page, he wrote that in the view of the vices and errors of the Spanish administrations, the only salvation for the Philippines was separate from the mother country. And the fourth was the end he pursues his efforts and writings is to tear from the loyal Filipino breasts and treasures of the Catholic faith. So to summarize it all, on June 26, 1892, Pisal arrived in Manila, and the week later, on July 3, he founded La Liga Filipina. Four days after, on July 7, he was arrested and deported to the Pitan without the benefit, the benefit of trial. For four years, he lived in exile in the outpost of Spanish power in Mindanao during his interlude in his life, and he practiced medicine, conducted scientific researches, established a school, built a town, waterworks, beautified the local plaza, which is this town, the town square, um, carried out literary and artistic pursuits, engaged in farming, became a successful businessman, and increased his knowledge in languages. Truly, his Tapitan days constituted one of the most fruitful periods of his life, through, though he was then an exile. Um, there, this, there was a line Rizal had so, meron ditong line si Jose Rizal dito sa libro na um, naging source ko sa report na to. Sabi, hurled out into exile from the land I adore, my future all dark and no refuge to seek. My, ro my roseate dreams hover round me once more. Ano ba? Hurled out into exile from the land I adore. Hurled out into exile from the land I adore. My future all dark and no refuge to seek. My rosic dreams hover round me once more. Sole treasures of all that life to me bore. The fates of youth that with sincerity speaks. Bioserisal.